very good afternoon and namaskaram to all of you who have joined us for this webinar in fact this webinar is being conducted continuously by EGS Pillai Group of Institution especially by the EGS Pillai Engineering College in fact EGS Pillai Engineering College has a long legacy this year is our silver jubilee year we are celebrating 25th year of our establishment and education in excellence in fact Nagapatnam which is known mostly for tsunami and for the natural calamities, it also has an icon called as EGS Pillai Engineering. And all the alumni who have studied from here are now across the world and they are doing in great work across the world. To talk about any country, there's going to be Australia, US, UK, everywhere, EGS PNs are available and they are in this In fact, today also, we are with us with the person who has joined us and she is going to deliver a session and she is not an ordinary person, she is also a doctorate she represents and apart from that more important is she is an alumni of our campus. In fact, at this juncture I would like to remember our founder chairman G.S. Pillayaya who is called as the father of education, in fact without whom the whole situation should have not been created. We all are here all because of him. And, and he, he has the person who has been supporting the community from the inside and he's not one question. He's very glad that he's taking the thinking forward. And in and his, his line, line, their son is also taking the thinking forward. Their son is also taking the thinking forward. May request a request to the family, may request a request to the family, may request a request to the family, may request a request to the family. Namaskaram. Namaskaram and good afternoon to all. On behalf of our management, I welcome Dr. M. Srivitya, Madam, our uh, Chief Executive Officer, Dr. S. Sandrasegar, Sir, our Dean Mechanical and Building Sciences, Dr. S. Krishnamogan, Sir, dear colleagues, my dear participants and student friends. Um, this webinar is hosted by our um, Biomedical Engineering Department. We have B Biomedical Engineering in our college. This webinar is uh, from our uh, proud alumni, Dr. Um, M. Srivitya, Madam. Uh, actually, she is a uh, 2001 passed out um, alumni. Uh, currently, she is working as an associate professor, Department of Chemical Engineering, Agni College of Technology, Chennai. This webinar is about the um, role of chemical warrior against COVID-19. In the current uh, pandemic situation, this webinar will be very useful to all the um, participants. So I request all the participants to keenly observe all the points and information uh, shared in this webinar. This is a, a golden opportunity to enrich your knowledge about um, chemical warriors against COVID-19. Um, also, I request all the participants to have uh, interaction with our uh, speaker by posting your uh, queries in the chat box. Uh, now I request our um, proud alumni, Dr. M. Srivitya Madam, to share her uh, knowledge and thoughts with the participants. Dr. M. Uh, Srivitya Madam, Srivitya Madam. Uh, uh, now the now forum the is, um, is um, handed to, to you. Go ahead and all the very best, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, this opportunity. And thanks for my introdu introduction about, uh, about me. Uh, on, uh, our, uh, as a, a proud alumni in this uh, 25th year, uh, I am very happy to deliver my lecture. Uh, it's uh, I thank the management of GSPLA Engineering College and uh, Chandrasegar sir, uh, who are taking uh, more efforts when uh, I requested him immediately without any hesitation. Uh, he accepted my request and uh, uh, gave me an opportunity uh, in this 25th year of your public uh, celebration, I thank the principal, uh, Chandra Sekar sir and Ramavalan sir uh, and Dean uh, who are uh, engaged me in this lecture. Um, the, we have completed, uh, we and Batch have a very good uh, connect uh, even now itself. Uh, we are passed out in the 2001 Batch and uh, now um, 
i am uh, leading the department of chemical engineering and um, uh, actually um, it's a pandemic situation so in uh, i want to give you a lecture immediately uh, focus on the health and uh, associated aspects how we have to face uh, so i welcome all the participants who are registered here and the faculty members who are encouraged the students to register in this webinar uh, thanks to one and all uh, now we move on to the today's uh, session of uh, frontiers of uh, that is the role of chemical warriors why uh, you people already have here about that uh, warriors the word ungalku uh, therinjirukum at present uh, we are having a uh, Uh, covid 19 uh, so the covid 19 la uh, on behalf of the department of chemical engineering uh, not only chemical engineering all the aspects but uh, presently the biomedical engineers and the chemical engineering plays an important role in uh, day to day life activities why i have to say day to day life activities means uh, because uh, at present we are uh, um, three things that is uh, most essential for our uh, pandemic situation or to prevent us from the infected or uh, uh, from the other infections that may spread through air or so, uh, so in order to avoid that the we are uh, having the three main roles over here how to prevent how to con- uh, save ourselves and uh, how we are going to uh, f- uh, f- face the people who are uh, 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 having this so it's a helping minded uh, at this stage we are in need to help the others also but uh, uh, we have to be safe also we have to safeguard our family and uh, in this pandemic situation uh, we are uh, daily using uh, the sanitizer without the sanitizer uh, or each and every every one of us have the capability of uh, uh, using three main uh, criteria what is this what are the three criteria what are the three major products we generally uh, need is one is the disinfectant another one is the sanitizer and the mask ungalke therinjirukum in order to uh, safeguard from that uh, we are maintaining social distance also and uh, the resources are still going on uh, and uh, even the drug formulation for this covid 19 will take several years to because pre- to complete this to eradicate this uh, it's not an easy task because we are, we are having a uh, trials of human trials of uh, drug prediction so still the drug will be predicted in order to overcome this covid 19 uh, we are have uh, the situation to face or to overcome this uh, uh, covid 19 so at this stage Uh, uh, as a role of uh, alumni i just want to give you an idea of uh, what is the how the chemical engineer uh, what is the role of chemical engineering in predicting this uh, covid 19 so generally we are uh, ta- ta- covering the three important uh, uh, topics what are the that that we cover it in terms of frontiers in chemical engineering or warriors so because so many doctors so many nurses so many public uh, pri- so many government people so ngos are making much much efforts in uh, controlling this uh, covid 19 uh, so as a part of the people what we have to do oh, that's if you want to safeguard that we have to be uh, always be uh, safe first our surroundings our home then our environment then our society then our working place etc etc so so many people so many of uh, them are uh, facing this so with the st- in keynote of this i started with uh, my presentation uh, on three different topics one is the disinfectant and then a sanitizer and then a mask uh, so this is that's why i So, uh, uh, in the title itself as the chemical warriors of covid 19 so uh, with this uh, we will first move on to the topic of disinfectant um generally you know about the what is in, what is the difference between a sanitizer and disinfectant can you able to uh, differentiate that uh, sanitizer will be in the composition uh, will be different from that of the 
sanitizer disinfectant sanitizer will be completely different so most of the uh, in our home uh, we have to have the preliminary step of when whenever we go uh, outside or we buy any vegetables or when we go outside and come back to our home first we have to wash our hands and then we have to uh, use the sanitizers uh, we have to clean our home itself and we have to in order to why we are masking uh, using this mask is generally preventing from other entries to uh, uh, other entry of covid 19 to in our, our body that's the main thing uh, so uh, we start with the initially with the uh, disinfectant so disinfectant so what is the meaning of the disinfectant uh, it is nothing but a uh, Uh, substance or the agent that have the capability of destroying the microorganisms um, only in an inanimate surface we are using and uh, what they do they they we also call it as sterilants uh, they generally avoid the uh, bacterial spores and um, how the disinfection process is uh, dis disinfectant infection prone uh my um organisms are being killed and uh, we are having a um different formulations of disinfectant and um uh, however if the if it is live one on the human body tissue we call it as the antiseptic and then uh, so uh, when a disinfectant if you are going to sale or you going to um, distribute it over to the environment we have to uh, identify or the we have to categorize it we have to experimentally do the research and then only we have to predict the product uh, uh, and a, one, a third person cannot able to send any disinfectant directly into the market Be because uh, it's oral application over the body or over the surface or over the environment so what are all the ideal properties that a disinfectant should have it should be a uh, non toxic it should be odorless one it is easy to use and uh, it sh should not cause any uh, da uh, damage to the surface and uh, generally we have the different types of disinfectants we have the chemical metal chemi uh, halogens chemical oriented concepts and then we have aldehydes ammonium compounds dyes detergents and soaps and um, uh, these are some of the acids and alkalis I, all are organic based and then we have the halogen fluorine chlorine base these mercury and silver phenol you know so these are all um, some of the alcohol you know iso may, most probably methanol and uh, isopropyl alcohol are this isopropanol are widely used in sanitizer too and uh, we have the aldehydes then we have the quaternary ammonium compounds too uh, that is uh, at present we have d125 is the product identified as the disinfectant as per the who uh, with the, which have the composition of this quaternary ammonium compound and then um, we have the detergents and soaps also e even in many uh, ads you have seen that washing the soaps uh, uh, with the washing the hands or washing the hands with the soap and uh, how the disinfectants play a vital role actually uh, all the um, uh microbiologists and the biomedical engineers show uh, definitely know how the uh, disinfectant play a vital role because uh, each have the cell membrane cell wall and dna and uh, when these disinfectants spread over the surface this is the mechanism uh, how the disinfectant destroys the uh, spread of this uh, bacteria uh, so it causes a damage to the protein once the once the protein get damaged means the cell membrane gets disturbed and the nucleic acid also disturbed so it prevents the 
inside nucleic acids and cause the destruction of the organisms so what are all the factors generally we have to uh, once the disinfectant are going we cannot we, we have different types of disinfectant this is spray disinfectant aerosol as sprays you can use so based on the dilution we cannot directly employ any disinfectant into the air or the surface because it affects the pull uh, makes the causes out to the environment so we have the dilution factor if we use uh, with the help of the dilution uh, ratios we can uh, eradicate the uh, any organisms or the bacteria or maybe virus and um, we have the categorization of formulation what are all the chemical compounds what are all the chemical constituents to be displayed what are all the factors how what is the type of the microorganism that is how it interfaces with the environment and then uh, what are the techniques generally we are having uh, in uh, as i already told that we never directly sell a disinfectant without any experimental part or the experimental proof so we are having the different technique methods we are already the um, uh, biomedical engineers and the biotechnologists or the microbiologists people know about these agar plate method and then uh, gradient plane technique so with by employing some experimental part only and we have to show the result after that only that product being delivered or the sale to be in the market so these are some of the methods for whether that we have to check it whether the disinfectant is working or not without that experimental proof we cannot be able to subsidize it so before that disinfectant we have to show the result and then we have to got the approval so that results can be done by method of for evaluating this disinfectant rule we have the agar plate method we have the cylinder plate method and gradient plate techniques these are some of the techniques for evaluating whether the disinfectant play a vital role for example first we have the agar plate method we have a petri dish we have the bacteria over there and then we have to uh, add the disinfectant we develop a zone of inhibition around that and we have to measure it how much then only it, we can show the result that it have a zone of inhibition it have the zone of inhibition over this you can see in the petri dish plate uh, this is the cylinder plate method and then we have the dish plate method also uh, we have the drug coated over there and we have to 24 hours we have to incubate it if inside that we have the zone of inhibition these are some of the techniques great plate technique some of the techniques available for evaluating the property of disinfectant whether disinfectant is working or not we we have to check it and then only we have to implement the disinfectant to sale in the market so we have the phenol coefficient method and then uh, suggested by a um, uh, scientist redelwa so but with the help of these and all we can evaluate the uh, property of a uh, disinfectant now i can show some of the slides of how the uh, disinfectant or the uh, play a vital role in our uh, The use of disinfectant products kills germs on surface. This is helping to stop the spread of infection. Here's how they work. Bacteria such as E. coli and Salmonella that cause food poisoning and diarrhea, or Staphylococcus aureus that causes skin infections, are single-celled microscopic organisms. Disinfectants kill these bacteria by interfering with the outer layers of the bacterial cell, causing leakage of cell contents, structural damage to important molecules within the cell, and as a result, death of the bacteria. Death of the bacteria. 
Disinfectants also kill viruses. Disinfectants also viruses kill virus. such as influenza that causes the flu need to invade human cells in order to replicate and spread the infection. Disinfectants interfere with the structural and genetic elements of the virus particles that are essential for this invasion and replication process in the human host cell. If a virus cannot infect and replicate, it is essentially dead and cannot cause an infection. Everyone can do something to help prevent the spread of infectious diseases, effectively breaking the chain of infection by implementing good hygiene practices in the home and in the community at large.
with these three this is two videos uh, i just want to show how the microorganisms across the world are developing uh, this is a footage award winning footage how the microorganisms are developing inside and we have the uh, immune system to resist so how for developing that alone uh, we are nk uh, we have to prevent the spread of this uh, virus because once if you touch a uh, uh, air airborne disease or anything we have to clean our home and uh, we have to use the uh, uh, disinfectant normally in our homes already Mm, so uh, that is the mechanism in that previous video also it shows that how the what is the mechanism in controlling that uh, uh, virus it destroys the outermost cell membrane the nucleus and prevents the uh, multiplication of those infections so uh, it still we have to uh, face or overcome this means we have to use the proper disinfectant cleaning at home and uh, these two videos the first video says how the uh, yes, yes sir yes sir so sir now it's okay sir Ah, yes so the disinfectant role what is the role of this disinfectant how the how the, first you have to know what are the how the microorganisms are develop and we are have also having the infection in our uh, human uh, system also but uh, in order to uh, prevent that first we have to be clean our environment so that the disinfectant plays a vital role so that uh, previous video shows how the um, disinfectant kill the uh, mic microorganisms and we have the before uh, any um, external uh, appliances we have some immune cells eating the bacteria so also we have to develop the immunity we are uh, all of the people came to know uh, we have to develop the no edirpa sakti irukano for that if we want to have the develop the immune cells within our body uh, we have to eat much more like that uh, so that immune is a immune, immune, immune cell also plays a vital role now i show share a video of how the immune cell uh, eating the bacteria if we have the healthy environment healthy food habits healthy nutritional diet we can able to struggle any type of my uh, organism that enter not only covid uh, if we have the resistance uh, developing the by proper way of uh, food uh, and enhancement on the nutrition balanced diet we can able to resist any bacteria i will share the video of how the immune cells eating the bacteria so with that video we came to know that how the if we have a better immunist uh, immunization uh, or immunity resistant developed in our body we can uh, eradicate so uh, healthy foods we have to eat uh, 
uh, for the old age people particularly uh, due to that uh, age factor they have less immune system over that body so we have to develop them we have to take care of them by giving more addition of and even the children's below the 10 years are nowadays got affected with this covid 19 also so whomever the people uh, we are in this present pandemic situation if we have a better immunity that can able to resist against the bacteria or the covid 9 any organisms we can able to uh, pro- pro- and we have to safeguard all of us uh, for the, with a better immunity so we have to have the healthy food diet and uh, proper uh, nutrition uh, food uh, to resist against this bacteria so Uh, another one important uh, disinfectant surface by the multi clean uh, 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 who are supplying the product of disinfectant now they will share uh, against mrsa or hepatitis a or influenza so most of the diseases we can have eradicate with the help of this disinfectant with this uh, i share a video of that uh, you just kindly go through it and you more Uh, theory part uh, without the we if you seen the practical uh, application you can able to see the role of a disinfectant we are all worried about germs some germs can make people ill We some can even be germs. deadly the use of products that claim to kill germs are often deadly. used incorrectly the, use of the purpose of this video is to educate you how to properly disinfect surfaces to kill potentially harmful bacteria and viral agents many of us take comfort with the suggestion that bleach effectively kills germs yet did you know that bleach is rapidly inactivated by the very soils left behind from someone touching a surface proper disinfecting with bleach is a two step process requiring that surfaces be pre-cleaned followed by application of a diluted bleach solution to kill germs some disinfectants can clean and disinfect in one step because they are not inactivated by residual soils on a surface making the germ killing process more effective and efficient follow these straightforward rules to properly disinfect surfaces 1 if concentrated dilute the product according to label instructions using an automated dilution system takes the guesswork out of dilution 2 if using bleach pre-clean the surface with a compatible cleaning product of your choice For other products the pre-cleaning process may not be necessary. Free. Apply the disinfectant product to the surface to be disinfected. This can be done spraying and wiping with a cloth, using a cloth or sponge previously dampened with the disinfectant solution, or on floors using a microfiber cloth and a special mop and bucket. Four. Now this is important. The surface must be left visibly wet and allowed to air dry. Too often surfaces are wiped to dryness. Disinfectants do not kill germs instantaneously, but typically require some contact time with the wet disinfectant, leaving the surface visibly wet. accomplishes this important task although every facility is different to limit the transmission of illnesses caused by germs focus on surfaces that are frequently touched by multiple people these surfaces are commonly referred to as high touch surfaces during cold and flu season or in facilities such as hospitals and nursing homes frequent disinfecting of high touch surfaces is one of the best defenses against the spread of illness multi clean makes a number of one step cleaner disinfectants for use in schools hospitals public buildings offices and other types of facilities Full Troll 64 is a concentrated disinfectant great for general restroom cleaning and disinfecting. Century Q256 is a concentrated hospital grade disinfectant that kills many of the most difficult germs. This product will not harm high gloss finished floors. This Microside TB is a ready to use tuberculosidal product that kills many germs including the noral virus. For more information on infection control resources and multi-clean products, visit our website at multi-clean.com. Visit our website at multi-clean.com. Um, so participants now uh, are the panelists you can uh, now have the idea of what the role of a disinfectant where uh, because each and every time uh, so many people uh, gave the uh, uh, idea of uh, where how the spread will be 
ஆல்வேஸ் நீங்க என்ன பண்ணுங்க ஒன்ஸ் நீங்க வெளில போயிட்டு உள்ள வந்தீங்கன்னா வாஷ் யூர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் சொல்றாங்க பிகாஸ் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் பண்றோமோ அல்லது டோர் ஓபன் பண்ணோ ஹேண்டில்ஸ் இன் ஆபீசஸ் இன் ஹோம்ஸ் ஆல் தட் வி ஹேவ் டு பி டில் த மெடிசன் ஆர் த ட்ரக் ஐடென்டிஃபைட் ஃபார் தட் கோவிட் நைன்டீன் வி ஹேவ் டு பி ப்ரொடெக்டிவ் ஸோ ஐ ரெக்வஸ்ட் த மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஜிஎஸ்பிள் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் ஆல்சோ டு யூஸ் ப்ராப்பர் டிஸ்இன்ஃபெக்டன்ட் ஆர் த Pro, uh, spray uh, we have a uh, different types of disinfectant with the dilution if you can uh, spray it around your uh, around uh, the college it will be uh, able to prevent the people who are all coming for and uh, visiting the college so proper disinfection around any institute nowadays required in order to uh, overcome this covid 19 situation so this is all something the videos of how the uh, disinfectant play a vital role now nama uh, veetla sanitizer adha adutha topic povom soap ipo ella solranga illa ni sanitizer da use pannu ni soap da use pannu but whatever the doc- doctors or the physicians whatever they are telling from the health uh, uh, section health ministry they have to wash the hands for 20 seconds yeah and the 20 seconds wash panna solranga yeah nama just hand wash pannittu vandha appo pannidalame that's not the case it have a outer fat surface irukku and the fat surface ulle poi kill pannano and the covid 19 oda and the fat surface overcome panni mele irukkuriya layer ninga disrupture pandra panna da it will kill the targeted nucleic acid that the nucleus inside the cell that prevents so here i uh, share a video of how the soap kills why number 20 seconds abingiradhu thirumba thirumba yen solrom abingiradhukana or video just i am going to share this please see it you know that the best way to prevent the spread of coronavirus is to wash your you know that the best way to prevent the spread of you coronavirus know that the best is way to, to wash your hands to wash your hands wash your hands but wash why your hands. it's because but soap why? regular soap it's fancy honeysuckle soap, soap artisan soap, peppermint soap just soap, any soap absolutely soap, annihilates soap, viruses absolutely like the coronavirus here's how here's how This Here's is what a virus like coronavirus looks like. What a virus, like. It's coronavirus a bit of material like. surrounded by a coating of proteins and fat. Of proteins Viruses and easily fat. stick to places like Viruses your hands. But when you rinse your hands with hands. just water, it rushes, right just water it rushes right over the virus. That's because that layer of fat makes the virus behave kind of like a drop of oil. You can see it happening in this demonstration. Oils are just liquid fats. What happens when you pour oil into water? What happens when you pour oil into water? It floats. it doesn't it mix floats. it doesn't mix but add soap but add soap and suddenly that fatty oil dissolves into the water and suddenly that fatty oil dissolves into the water that's because inside soap has that's two-sided molecules inside, one end of the molecule molecules. is attracted to water one end of the, the other end to, to fat water. So when the, the soap molecules fat. come in contact so with water and fat, these dual attractions literally pull the fat apart, surrounding the oil particles and dispersing them through the water. Let's go back to our coronavirus molecule with that layer of fat holding everything together. When it interacts with soap, bam, that fat gets pulled out by the soap. Soap literally pulls apart and demolishes these viruses. And then the water rinses the harmless leftover shards of virus down the drain. But and Down you know where i'm going with this but, it takes you know time for this effect to happen it takes time 20 seconds to be specific 20 seconds to show why specific. we ordered this lotion that mimics viruses in their fatty layers it glows, their it glows under a uv light it glows under a uv light if you just rinse your hands under regular water if you just rinse nothing your comes hands off under regular water nothing if you wash off. with soap for just 5 seconds or 10 seconds, seconds, seconds your hands are still covered seconds. The virus is still there, able to get the virus you and other there, sick. Able to get you But 20 full seconds. But 20 Now the seconds. soap is actually destroying Now the virus. Now the soap is actually destroying Hand the virus. Hand sanitizer works too because it's mostly Hand alcohol. Works too, and alcohol works in a somewhat alcohol. similar way to soap, breaking down that fatty layer. Way to soap, breaking down that You need a high layer. concentration of alcohol to you make that work. The CDC recommends hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol. But even with 60% alcohol, the CDC recommends using soap if you can. If your hands are sweaty or dirty when you use the sanitizer, that can dilute it and diminish its effectiveness. As for soap, 
as for soap, just any old soap works. You don't need soap marketed as antibacterial even. The FDA says skip it. There's no proof it's any more effective. Just be sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds. That's happy birthday twice. Happy birthday, dear. I guess me. Or the chorus to Lizzo's Truth Hurts. Or Prince. Or Eminem. Or even Dolly. Just as long. Uh, so that video shows what is the actually uh, why we had to wash the hands. You know, that like a little bit of 20 seconds out and you wash one. You know, we have to break the it's have a fatty surface over that layer. That fatty surface again, we have to break it up. And then only that outer gill, uh, outer wall gets uh, di uh, disintegrated. And then only the main uh, spread of the center of that uh, microorganism cause uh, destruction. So these are some of the uh, sh sharing of uh, how the disinfectant uh, plays a vital role. So these are all the things what we have seen about the disinfectant. So another next important role in our uh, uh, chemical and as a chemical engineering, uh, we have the product of a sanitizer. Now, we will learn regular use for it. Now, the day-to-day product, the sanitizer forms here, uh, play, play a vital role. So, in this presentation, now, the we are going to see about what is a hand sanitizer, what is the formulation, how it uh, distract the corona, how what is the chemical and beyond that, how the chemical engineering play a vital role in every day-to-day -day life, starting from the toothpaste and so, and uh, what are all the other uh, frequent chemicals in home. So, sanitizer. Already sanitizer, it's maybe of, you have different brands of uh, uh, life buyer, strenser, cleaner, like that. So many products, each and any, even now Amazon, Flipkart, they are all having a, uh, a sale of this uh, hand sanitizer throughout the world. So, the sanitizer may be in the form of a liquid or in the form of a gel. How the, uh, it will be verified. If we add it a aloe vera gel, uh, you can be able to see the difference. One is a liquid formula. Once you have direct hand, it will easy to evaporate. And another one, we have the property of uh, gel property. That is stickiness. If you have a stickiness, you will have stickiness. So, it is because of the aloe vera gel. And now, so many uh, uh, ingredients are being added to these sanitizers. So, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, uh, in the hand sanitizer, dana, idu dana, abdinger, dana, easy or market sale panna mudiyad. Because WHO has laid out some standards for this hand sanitizer. So, uh, next slide we see about the uh, how the hand sanitizer as per the prescription of WHO. So, once if I am in a company, I have to prepare this sanitizer now. You have to get the approval from the local district collector or from the uh, local people, Tasildar, with uh, village officer, because the isopropyl alcohol, which we have to use this, is a very uh, challenging one. And uh, methanol is also a very challenging one. You can also hear that. Uh, one month back, some of the people uh, had, uh, drank this uh, methanol as a uh, remedy for COVID and most of them are died. Because of this issue, in most of the uh, pr product uh, producer should be kept their industry so many uh, kilometers away, like the Sipcot or say they can only uh, apply for a registration of this product. Any product uh, it may be of medical, uh, almost I think the bi biomedical engineers know whether the product which may be of uh, uh, oral or for the medicated one, it should be approved by certain agencies. When you are going for uh, trials, you have the clinical trials. And the drug, we have to go for the pharmacy. We have clinical research organization. They itself uh, have the um, uh, criteria. So, other human study which they can identify 
what are all the effect of this once they approved by the who then only they can fda or who they can only world health organization and fda food drug administration these are all uh, approved agencies once their approval only they can able to say in the market that belongs to the clinical research organization work so the pharma people have to study that clinical trials that is based on the human trials uh, they are giving the medicine to the human uh, under the age of a, uh, uh, depending upon the uh, medicine uh, level uh, depending upon the disease depending upon the age group they have categorized the thing they have undergo the study and then we have gave uh, produce a certificate sorry they have undergo the documentation part and then they submitted to the food drug or the world health after that auditing only if they approved only that ma- product medical product definitely will be sale in the home market similarly for the hand sanitizer you have to get the approval for marketing for licensing for licensing that product so please check it up whether if you go or buy a hand sanitizer neenga paakumbodhe ungalku adula ingredients irukum adu kila license iruka nu paarenga marketing iruka marketing license abingiradhu koduthirupanga manufacturing details iruka paarenga adula isopropyl alcohol enna irukku methanol ivlo ratio dhaan irukku glycerol Uh, so much quantity uh, so hydrogen peroxide so much quantity these are all the standard uh, procedures suggested by the protocol so hand sanitizer edho or product vaangi ninga use pannadinga it's a request when you go and buy it in the market you search at the back of that you have the expiry date for before buying the product always be check it for the medical product or for anything you are going to take for medication you please just take the expiring date expiry date expiry date so uh, once these three what is the license what are all the products and uh, composition enna iruk adula whether adu vand expiry date iruka abingiradha check pannite in the product a irundalum so in the madri hand sanitizer ku you certain criteria suggested by the who so he, how the uh, scan sanitizer every work out you have the uh, what are the main constituents of this uh, hand sanitizer abdinger the pathing you know we have a uh, ethanol propanol or isopropanol group that's the main alcohol based disinfectant we call it as the alcohol based disinfectant which is be of ninga nariya therinjirupinga ipo kuda and the videos la paathirupinga 60 to 95% alcohol most of them contains ethanol propanol Uh, that have the effect to control the virus next one chlorohexidine and then benzyl alcohol now the you ha- if you go for any amazon product if you go and search is you have the d125 product it is a quaternary ammonium compound formulation so uh, how to hand sanitizer work we have virus or the bacteria this breaks the outer cell wall of the particular bacterial cell and the or the envelope of a virus they cause the breakdown of the outer layer and uh, resist the bacterial dna inside that uh, cell wall uh, bacteria or maybe a virus so uh, whatever the product may be minimum of 60% alcohol hand sanitizer on the it should be of greater than 65% of alcohol rukano. and uh, now through that video itself you can Uh, able to get uh, how, what the why we have to wash the hands for 20 seconds right next what are the types of we have the alcohol based alcohol free based now so many products in the market are coming with the help of a bio bio sanitizers even uh, bio sanit neem and uh, neem based products are now uh, alcohol free neem based products are seven so many Uh, uh, companies are producing that but uh, the better effect will be of uh, this uh, one will be of hand uh, that uh, 90% uh, isopropanol that, that is it should be greater than of 60% is of the alcohol so once before applying it to do not go uh, ha, do not go near the fire when you apply a sanitizer over your hand or something Uh, you itself can see uh, 15 days back uh, now most of the people watch panirpinga nenikiren tv la or news vandhadu a person riding a two wheeler 
and uh, to a petrol bank for putting the um, fuel uh, loading the fuel into the bike and uh, some of the people sitting in the side they are uh, spraying the disinfectant over there because of the heat engine suddenly it got burst uh, it got fire so don't go near the kitchen immediately after applying the sanitizer it's a highly flammable one so what are the formulations so as i already told that uh, world health organization has suggested a hand sanitizer preparation should be of this and that so you never sell any product without that standard specification na ipo poren or hand sanitizer and the company oda da vaangren appadina and the hand sanitizer company kandipa who standards padi da they have prepared that sanitizer okay so the, similarly you have the food and uh, drug administration center for disease control and prevention that is the cdc center for disease control and prevention so over the surface uh, counter drugs and we have the several agencies of uh, to uh, they are giving a formulation and the formulation padi ne eppadi venalum prepare pannalam you can itself develop but be safe once it will be safe only we can prepare it in the home itself but buying isopropyl alcohol is not a easy task it will never sell in the outside market now it's be restricted so from a agency only we can able to uh, get that so these are some of the hand sanitizers um it will be contained in the bottles uh, so the covid 19 uh, prevention main you all know that covid vanda enna maadhiri irukum ipo la pathina almost uh, ae 13 uh, now the recent mutant uh, species ipo pudusa or idu vandirukku appdi solli resistant mutant vandirukku appdi solranga so it's a new type of parana adile endu vandu resistant develop pannite innoru product innoru bacteria irukku abingra maariyana or thought process kondu irukanga velila but uh, it will be uh if we are safe we can resist any type of bacteria so uh, you can't just imagine that this is because of this this is because of it uh, if you if you if one body can cough it's because of corona don't we think like that it will have certain symptoms fever cough it, mainly this uh, why we are uh, always uh, close your nose or with the mask because when this corona virus and covid 19 virus enters through the nose it will go through our back and rest, uh, rest on the respiratory side so that only breathing difficulty may problem may create a pro- problem and most of the uh, you can able to see that uh, in mo- most of the old age people because of immunity one reason some people have the bypass surgery and some people have the low immunity so these things are uh, at the beginning you can able now the death toll will be of around the age of 45 but before that most of the foreign countries the old age people because of their lack of immunity develop in their body and uh, due to this uh, breathing problem only uh, they, they are uh, there is a the, the death toll may rise so uh, so uh, you have the tiredness and muscle pain these are some of the symptoms so how to prevent that uh, we have the contact with the sick people uh, so just to maintain 1 meter distance then wash your hands with the soap uh, if you have the cough use a mask or kerchief handkerchief uh, in front when you are going to cough in front of anybody so um, uh, it will take uh, roughly 2 to 14 days adanal da vandu 14 days quarantine period abingiradhu edhukku solranga appdin pathinga once vandu immediate ah when the infection got into our body na we cannot able to see immediate change it will take 2 to 3 more days after the infection and then develop within our body and causes a fever and causes the symptoms of uh, cough and breathing problem and all at that 14 days only it have the life period end so the incubation period of 2 to 14 days for the virus okay so uh, so th- in order to overcome this dis- uh, distract this we have to use soap and water that is the one alcohol based sanitizer as the another one and then uh, hydrogen peroxide bleach solution and um, 
Uh, this is, uh, uh, you can see the picture of this, uh, how the SARS-CoV-2 virus, it's called as the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And uh, there are currently no treatment for it. Uh, several drugs are uh, resumeridine and uh, most of the drugs, chloroquinone, is, they are all not completely suggested. And uh, in order to overcome that, um, we have to develop the immunity so that the immunity only develops the resistance again this already i have shown the video of immunoglobulin m and immunoglobulin g uh, these are the uh, immunity developing uh, side so we have to develop it and uh, uh, these are some of the sanitizers and uh, beyond that in each and every day process our chemical reactions plays a vital role in photosynthesis uh, in you have the aerobics respiration respiration in our body and anaerobic respiration flame combustion process uh, everything rust formation and all these things are based on the chemical engineering process i i uh, uh, you can see the onion you have the uh, when you cut it and kept it in the uh, open atmosphere it may have and immediately it have the property of irritating our eyes that's also the chemical reaction and um, food preservatives in our home uh, and we have the baking soda so chemistry and digestion process we have the protein converted into amino acids starch will be converted into maltose lipids will be converted into fatty acids and glycerol and uh, these are some of the uh, how the chemical re engineering play a vital role in our body and sunscreen uh, so in order to prevent the uv rays over the surface of the skin we are using uh, so many sunscreen lotions also these are some of the chemical reactions soap and detergent reactions so the chemical engineering plays a vital role in developing a sanitizer in developing the disinfectant and we have to authenticate it we have the fertilizer production so that's all about the chemical engineering Chemi day to day life not only in covid day to day life we have the role of all the chemical engineering process um, in our home itself so we have a next slide of how the what is the third one we are going to is the another important one daily we are using a face mask so already we have seen about sanitizer disinfectant now the face mask ellarume ipo vandu mask illama velila poradhe kedaiyadu illaya so mask ena adula enna maadhiri criteria appadina already we namakku theriyum personal protective equipment abingiradhu solranga so protect from injury what is the meaning of that if any injury or the infection is there, we have to safeguard ourselves. It may be either, either due to physical or electrical or biohazard or airborne. Or so we have to use the personal protective equipment. That is why we have personal protective equipment must be face mask. So what are the face masks we have? We have surgical masks, that is hospitals. We use N95 and FFP1 masks. We use N95 masks. Activated carbon. Then ordinary cloth we have to use, kerchiefs or something. And mask and industrial mask also to prevent the pollution. Uh, of uh, the airborne and the chemicals so function we have the classification of comfort mask, surgical mask, uh, we have the respirators too and uh, disposable and uh, de reusable. Uh, so many are available in the market, uh, even in Amazon, uh, even in many medical shops, Flipkart, they are all now selling this the N95 mask and the reusable mask also. And uh, even this product also needs some authentication, whether you can use or not. So the that filter or that uh, membrane, whatever you are using for that mask to enter into the body should be authenticated one. So we have to choose, then only uh, we can able to um, use what type of mask will be suggested. So we have the several types of mask, if you have bacteria, uh, the following are the, uh, which are dangerous to our health. So these are some of the particles, virus, food, smoke, Sometimes on the wheezing problem, mask, 
ஃபியூம்ஸ் சில பேர் இந்த மகரந்த தூள் சொல்லுவோம் இல்லையா போலன் கிரைன்ஸ் அது வந்து நான் கூட மோ நோஸ்ல செட்டில் ஆகி தே கேன் காஸ் அலர்ஜிக் காஃப் அண்ட் தென் மூல்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் டஸ்ட் ஸோ த மாஸ்க் பிளே ஏ வைட்டல் ரோல் ஸோ இட் மே பி ஃப்ளோ ஹவு த ஃபேஸ் மாஸ்க் வில் பி ப்ரொடியூஸ் வி ஹாவ் த ப்ரொக்யூர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஃபேப்ரிக் வி ஹாவ் த வெல்டிங் ப்ராசஸ் லிங்கிங் பேக்கிங் அண்ட் தென் வி ஹாவ் டு டெஸ்ட் இட் வெதர் இட் கேன் ப்ரிவெண்ட் ஆர் நாட் தென் ஓன்லி வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்பேச் தட் ப்ராடக்ட் so this is the structure of a mask we have the non woven fabric at the other end we have the filter layer at the middle and then we have the non woven fabric so we have the clip that is for holding in our no uh, along our uh, ears also and uh, we have the type of uh, mask Uh, we have the respirators this is a surgical mask this is the respirator process because once we have the uh, respiratory fillers used to reduce the potential contact so and then these are some of the pictures of this uh, how the mask play a vital role and uh, the, this is similar of the respirator type used in most of the industries and um, where they have designed in a, so, such type of layer and uh, these are uh, this is a structure of how the multi layers depend when you go for uh, outer layer filtration layer and then we have the inner layer so this is a respirator type of mask and then uh, once the mask has been produced we have to go for the evaluation then only you can able to sell it and um, uh, the, the the mask play a vital role uh, in preventing our uh, infection from the other people not only from uh, uh, from infected people to others and also prevent us from other who got infected so with this uh, i can uh, share the something related to uh, covid 19 um so these are so be be protective be safe use proper uh, hand sanitizer for your uh, self protection uh, for use disinfectant to save uh, for the home protection and use a uh, mask for the others protection uh, thank you sir uh, uh, with this uh, i can uh, stop the presentation say so far sir uh, thank you very much thanks for your attention listening uh, very good presentation madam uh, this is the uh, correct the, uh, topic uh, correct topic hello yeah please go ahead sir please go ahead sir hello hello ah yes uh, the current top, correct uh, exact topic for the current situation in the covid 19 madam uh, lot of questions are uh, in the chat or in the chat box uh alan krita alan krita i ask also one question in the chat box chat box i saw in whatsapp that whenever wear mask the oxygen level will decrease and causing breathing problems how and what type of mask we can use ma'am adam yes sir uh, yes sir yes sir yeah. uh, alan krita uh, now uh, most of the Uh, mask are designed uh, for easy traveling of the oxygen through our uh, pores that is the fabric what they are using in developing that product so nowadays it will be won't be suggested so once you are using uh, the mask you please uh, stick on to it whether uh, that holding or the e- uh, easy capability of air should be in or out because nowadays it will be standardized one uh such type of mask will be never uh, sale in the market so that should be usage level uh, and depending upon the fabric type and uh, we can suggest some of the mask available in the market but uh, most of the mask nowadays they are designing in a very compact way uh, okay ma'am thank you uh, one more question from marsha roban uh, if no cover by the mask why is there only damage or nostrils sir am cover pannumna thumbum bodu adu nam no pa it's not like that 
uh, once you have sneezed abina what the purpose purpose of that will be uh, it it will be main a ye adha solrom abina nammalku vandha ad infection aagadhu ena already nammaloda body vandha already adha vandha immunity irukku adha nammalku infection vandiruchu so it will never again recreate our self nammaloda body e thirumba varadhu so it vandha spread aagadhu one to two droplets நீங்க இருந்தாலே போதும் இமீடியட்டா ஆப்போசிட்ல இருக்கிற பர்சனுக்கு ஸ்பிளிட் அப் ஆகிடும் ஒரு டூ ட்ராப்லெட்ஸ் அல்லது ஒரு ஒன் ஆர் டூ ட்ராப்லெட்ஸ் இருந்தாலே இட் கேன் இமீடியட்லி அஃபெக்ட் த நியர் பை பர்சன் ஸோ அதோட டிராவலிங் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒன் ஒன் மீட்டருக்கு பிஃபோரா இருக்கணும் அதனாலதான் வந்து ஒன் மீட்டர் டு டூ மீட்டர் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் டிராவல் பண்ணி இருக்குன்னு சொல்றாங்க ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம பாடிக்கு வந்து அது வந்ததுனால நம்மளுக்கு எந்த வித பாதிப்பும் கிடையாது ஸோ சவுண்ட் இது கிடையாது இட்ஸ் ஹேவ் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கீப்பிங் த ஒன் மீட்டர் so oh. that only the distance social distancing the meaning adu okay but avanga vandu enna kerana stop pandra mudiyad namma thumbara vandu sadanga stop pandrana adhukaga illa and the speed vandu nam nostrils vandu damage pannuma illa illa kandipa innum adhukku difference irukala adhu sir aama aama kandipa ungalku vandu neenga ungaloda eppodume thummal varumbodhu neenga vandu adu adakkave koodadhu hmm aama உங்களோட so it will never be stopped that yes sir again alan krutha has a question when okay. corona virus is a bacteria uh, no no corona is a virus or bacteria some people say corona is a bacteria not a virus like that whether it is a bacteria or virus hello மீனிங்ஸ் <laughs> composition will be of that's why we are uh, representing it as the more than uh, 60 percentage of alcohol yes. it kill the germs generally using the hand sanitizer 60 percent alcohol will be more in the composition okay uh, one more question from parsavan uh, arvind b yes, is sir. isopropyl alcohol very dangerous yes. if uh, uh, what are the harmful effects of isopropyl alcohol Uh, generally uh, the isopropyl alcohol uh, if you have the uh, when you uh, keep your hand near it have the throat pain it will have the throat uh, infection so when w- w- once you immediately applied the over the hands you never you have to be kept at a dist- minimal distance from our nose that causes a the isopropyl alcohol once we breathe in or uh, expel through our nose or the mouth or uh, it will settles over our uh, uh, throat throat throat, throat uh, it will settles over uh, we cannot able to immediately we have some effects so yes. that the dilution plays a vital role yes. so the diluted part will won't affect anything the isopropyl yes. alcohol even once we kept it near the nose it will immediately go through our respiratory tract and uh, we feel some irritation over our uh, throat okay ma'am uh, question from same participant 
ಅಲಂಕೃತ you have the two different types of alcohol one is the liquid based alcohol and the another one is the gel based alcohol if you want the ninga liquid apply panninga na ungalku theriyum just press panni it pannum bodhu liquid ku ninga life boy gel la paathinga na adoda stickiness ungalku theriyum viscosity oda difference theriyum adu and or gel property the sanitizer ku varanona ni aloe vera gel add pannina da and gel property enhance panna mudiyum that's the play of alcohol uh, that is aloe vera gel okay okay Uh, which is an adhesive brand you can use man <laughs> one more question from the same part the same part uh, we keep this as the last question uh, any type of okay sir which uh, we can use the gel type it should be better because the aloe vera property i have uh, reduce some of the full effects created by this isopropyl alcohol we can go for use uh, ಸರ್ ವಿಹಾರ ನೈಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ Dr. M. Shri Vidya, 97-2000 Bath Associate Professor, Department of Chemical Engineering, Agni College of Engineering Technology. I am very much proud uh, Dr. M. Shri Vidya is our alumni of our institution. In this 25th year uh, celebration, he has given a tremendous presentation uh, regarding the COVID-19 and its prevention. And also he has given a very good information about the mass sanitizers, uh, hand sanitizers, how it is, it is to be used, how the, what are the mass sanitizers. Uh, we have to use like that it's a very much useful session to the all the participants and the students uh, and also i thank all the participants uh, attended uh, in this uh, session uh, from the various uh, institution various schools uh, and our ejs pulai college institution i thank i one second i thank all the participants also i would like to uh, i'm very much glad to thank our management uh, our chairman mr jodhmini ammal and our secretary mr dr s parmeswaran and the trust members for this uh, webinar supports and i have to thank our ceo dr chandrasekhar he only collected all the alumni details and they asked the questions uh, uh, and asked the uh, webinar details regarding the regular contact with all the alumni and i would like to thank our principal dr Yes, Rama Balan, uh, for his support and he has given a welcome address for the uh, webinar uh, presenter. Uh, with this, uh, I conclude the session. Uh, let us leave the webinar room. Uh, one second, I thank Dr. M. Shri Vidya for his excellent presentation and uh, useful uh, webinar for this session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.